Three, two, two one. one. What is up, party people? Today is another brand new episode of Tesla Saturday. This is our 12th episode, and boy, we have some juicy news today because Tesla has software updates. Over the air software updates that doesn't require you to go to your local car dealer. And what's up in the software for this update? Well, we have two main features dog mode and sentry mode. Let's first talk about dog mode. And yes, you could probably guess it from the title, hmm, dog mode. This is gonna be used for dogs and maybe some kids or babies if you wanna do a quick errand. I don't really recommend it, but this could be useful for that. And to activate dog mode, you just have to go to the climate control and then click dog, and then dog mode is activated. What is dog mode? Let's watch this video. feature is super straightforward and what makes me proud about that video is that a group of three girls in my high school class of pre-cow was just watching this dog mode video by Tesla on Twitter and I was like yes right there that's the influence of Tesla just over the air software updates nothing gets better than that when you buy your car usually depreciates in actual value like actual value to yourself you kind of just get bored of the car but with these software updates you get enticed every couple months. You're like, oh, dash cam over here, navigate on autopilot, sentry mode and dog mode, all of these Easter eggs. Just keep it coming, Tesla, just keep it coming. You're doing something special. But what's the next mode? Sentry mode. And where did sentry mode get its inspiration from? Well, we got it from a Rick and Morty episode. Let's watch this one. It's a little bit vulgar though. Hey. So that video that you just saw might make you infer that the Tesla now has this special gun system running with the AI of Alexa. Well, not so fast. It's not that futuristic or it's like using autopilot to just drive itself away whenever it sees a person. It's not that futuristic, maybe in maybe like five to 10 years. But what sentry mode is, it's super simple. It comes to all Tesla vehicles and all you have to do is enable it in the settings. But what it does, it uses the 360 autopilot cameras to detect if someone's trying to, you know, smash your window and steal your stuff in your car. And going into a little bit of detail on how this Tesla Sentry Mode works, there's three modes or three increasing hierarchical security modes. The first one is standby. It's just using the 360 degree cameras to see if anyone's potentially coming close to harming your vehicle. And the second mode is now called alert state and this is when the car starts to actively do something. It first sends a notification to your phone that it is now in its alert state and what the alert state means is that no one's breaking your windshield yet or windows, someone's just leaning on the car, touching the windows or maybe trying to open up the door handle, nothing like that severe, but what it does on the little screen, on your touch screen in the front, it just displays this weird like little red camera light, and then it says protected by Tesla, and then that the cameras are recording. It's pretty cool, and that drew its inspiration from a Space Odyssey movie in 2001. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. And with that Hall 9000, you get that injection of the nerdy reference into your Tesla vehicle, but now it switches to its third and most severe threat stage. Now it's called alarm stay in. Man, the vehicle is going to start alarming you and the person who's trying to do something to your vehicle. This alarm state's really only going to operate or activate if someone breaks your windows or windshield. And then maybe a couple other things, maybe like poke a tire, but this is really severe. And what the car is going to do is play the box Takata and Fugue sound. This is like the deep horror sound that you see in these all of these horror films. I'll roll that right now. And 
so you can see right there, whoever's trying to rob your vehicle or just damage it at all is going to be weirded out. They're going to be like, what is happening if they never heard of this Tesla Sentry mode? But that will be pretty funny because you get to see it on the cameras, which I'm going to remind you in the alert and alarm stage, they're saved to the USB drive that you plug into the vehicle. And then the last thing I have to mention about this alarm state is that it's going to put the display to 100% brightness. But you already saw that in the video. And overall, how can you not love Tesla or their inspiration on the vehicle market with these over the air software updates? Like the cars are better now thanks to dog mode and sentry mode. Even if you don't use them, they're there just kind of low key in the background. And like always to end off this video, I'm going to give you the Tesla Model 3, the groundbreaking electric vehicle, which still isn't 35,000. It's still four to six months. It's literally going to be four to six months forever. But these numbers, these production numbers are straight from Bloomberg. And there is 197,956 total Model 3s produced. And of that, 5,399 are producing per week. And that per week number is slowly and slowly increasing, which is exciting since the Model 3 market is now opening to China and, of course, Europe. But that is all we have for today. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest. Subscribe if you want more content like this every single week or every single day. And that is it. Three, two, one. I'm just over here watching the AAF and talk by Khalid. Apologize if I'm moving too far. Can we just talk?